Hello guys and welcome back to another M Crater tutorial. So today what we're going to actually end up doing is just watching the sun rise for a little bit and a few minutes or seconds should I say the sun will rise to the beginning of the day of a brand new day and what this will do is give us a run basically a script that will allow us to get a diamond uh, for every new day. So I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial basically how to set up the script for not only a range between a certain time of the day, but also some other resources and stuff like that. Now in just a couple seconds, it should be just coming up there. There we go. We got it. So that's basically how it works. It came to a brand new day. It was the first tick. If we actually go to time, um, quarry, and then get game time or not game time, uh, the daytime. As you can see, it's now over to 301 ticks. So it basically gave us the diamond when it was a brand new day. So let's go into mCrater and I'll show you basically how this is all set up. Uh, one thing to note uh, before I go and actually do that is there is kind of two different types of time. Now this will be a little bit confusing, but the first type of time is your general ticks that cycle for a 24 hour clock and then there is a second type of time which basically just keeps adding to the variable number. So one day is obviously 24,000 ticks and two days is 42,000 or 24, 20, 40, 42 I think, yeah 42 thousand ticks after and then it just keeps climbing and increasing by 24 um, thousand ticks so pardon me 48 48 thousand so all right so that's the time that we actually need to basically use now we need to break that into a 24 uh, hour basically uh, 24 thousand tick thing and that's where the mod block comes in to play um, basically what mod does is it takes the global world time and the global world time is how many ticks have basically run in that particular world and then it's basically breaking it up into 24,000 ticks so it's basically kind of I guess what you would say is dividing the overall ticks into something that can be understood by like a cycle of 24,000 ticks and then after what we've basically done is we're just testing if this the world time equals 24,000 um, which is a certain scale equals one tick so one tick is the beginning of a brand new day uh, if you were setting it to zero that would technically be the last minute of the day and that won't work because 24 hours it zero is not going to work with anything really so one two i believe 23999 is the maximum number that you can basically set now that will the the range here or the number is basically when you want the event to take place now if i open up the daylight cycle wiki page you'll have some useful information here for your 24 hour clock uh, as you can see here the first uh, six o'clock is actually set to zero but that doesn't run because it's actually technically 24,000 so if you want to set it for six o'clock then you have to do one tick over which is not going to be much of a difference to be honest it's just going to be literally one tick in difference so it's not going to be too big of a difference and then if you wanted to say want to set the time for something that happens at noon it's six six thousand and it will happen every every th three hours it'll be a total of six um thousand ticks so you kind of can judge based on that what you need to basically divide your clock in or your ticks in to get your actual time so there's a whole list of different times here with what happens for those events and stuff like that if you guys want that and there's some more detailed information down below for the 
other important things like sunset to dusk and stuff like that so i'll leave that in the description for you guys now let's go back to this and we'll see basically how to create this and i'll show you also how to test for a range so the first thing that we need to do is we're going to test for a condition the first condition what we need is to go to flow control grab an if statement and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a dark blue operator so we're going to grab this one right here under logic and then we're going to place that down right here and then what we're going to do is go to math and then we're going to grab a just a regular math operator and then we're going to plop that down here and then what you're going to want to do is click on the plus sign and then select the mod now that will be the main thing that you need to basically make that work after which uh, you need a number variable for two things so that we need one for the actual time that we're going to basically test for so i'm going to set that to one and then we're also going to need one for the 24 hour mod part so 24,000, and then that's basically set up now all we need to do is go to world data and grab get current world time and then we're going to place that right here so basically what this will do is it will just basically test for the current time and then test for the uh, if the value is equal to one tick so again it, uh, this is measured in ticks not actual time so if it's whatever current time is equal to one tick then it's going to give that particular run particular particular script uh, now say you want to test for a range uh, something between uh, say I don't know, uh, 1,000 ticks and 6,000 ticks. We can do that too. Uh, we can go to logic, grab a light blue operator, and we're gonna click on the equal sign and go to and, and then what we're going to do is go to external inputs to make it easier to see. Then we're just going to drop this part right over to here. We're gonna duplicate it so we can basically test for two conditions. Now, rather than having a equal sign, uh, what we want to do is we want to go from equal to or greater than and then there's another one that's equal to or less than and then we want to set it up like this now we're going to set our ticks to 1000 ticks and 6000 ticks and there you go you set up a range uh, between 1000 ticks and 6000 ticks so that's all there is that you basically need to do and again this will only give a diamond one diamond per tick so what this did was give us one diamond when it reached the first tick of the day and if you wanted to do that for say 5,000 times you could technically do that by putting it on the uh, range down here so hopefully you guys found today's video useful I hope that it made a little bit of sense if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I'll see you guys next time Thanks for watching. Peace out.